Collective agreement or collective bargaining agreement. If you are asking yourself, why would anyone, let alone a lawyer, be making a video about collective agreement versus collective bargaining agreement, when these words really mean the same thing? Unfortunately, it isn't that simple. It has significance for Canadian unionized employees that could be extremely consequential. The term collective bargaining agreement is utilized in the United States of America, while in Canada the term is collective agreement. As is evident from a review of federal and provincial employment and labor legislation across the country. Be it the Canada Labor Code, Ontario Employment Standards Act, Ontario Labor Relations Act, Alberta Employment Standards Code, Alberta Labor Relations Code, or other provincial and employment labor legislation. The definitive term is collective agreement with there being no reference in legislation to the term collective bargaining agreement. However, as soon as one moves away from the legislation, the confusion arises, and this is most evident with the government of Alberta, which maintains an online collective bargaining agreement database, primarily referring to the legal document as a collective bargaining agreement, yet with a few references to it as a collective agreement while using the acronym CBA, which clearly is a reference to a collective bargaining agreement. And it is prevalent throughout Canada, from the federal government and the federal minister of labor to the Supreme Court of Canada on down. Although one might contend that the terms are interchangeable, it presents a far more significant consideration that Canadian collective agreements are being influenced by American collective bargaining agreements, which could have adverse repercussions for Canadian unionized employees. One need only consider that outside of public service unions, the majority of Canadian unions are branches of an international union headquartered in the United States of America and heavily influenced and supported by its American leadership. And for many aspects, this can be a very good thing, especially when it comes to negotiations and bargaining power. Yet when it comes to employment and labor legislation, Canada is far ahead of the United States in protecting both union and non-union employees. And this emphasis on negotiations and bargaining from its American counterparts would appear to have negatively impacted legislative interpretation, which in our honest opinion is costing Canadian union employees significantly. This might come off as a very bold statement. Nevertheless, collective agreements in many Canadian jurisdictions, both federally and provincially, such as Alberta and Ontario, are readily accessible on the internet such as scrutinizing those collective agreements against the applicable employment and labor legislation is available to anyone with an internet connection. And if you know what you are looking for and what to compare it against, one can see the impact of American collective bargaining agreements on Canadian collective agreements and how this is adversely impacting far too many Canadian union employees. Dealing with these matters while employed or maintaining good relations with one's own union is incredibly difficult, if not impossible, given the importance of protecting one's current employment and ability to remain a union member in good standing. However, for those Canadian union employees who have been pushed out of their job by their former employer and their union, or otherwise have no need to maintain good relations with their former employer in the union, especially where they worked in Alberta or in employment subject to the Canada Labor Code, you should seriously look into your personal situation, given our own assessment of many collective agreements and how much went unpaid to those union employees. If this is of interest to yourself, we offer a free confidential consultation given the enormity of the concerns we have identified for Canadian union employees and are presently pursuing in court litigation proceedings. Thank you.